section 5.2 diagram. In fact, tree diagram is one of the pos one of the ways to list all the possible outcomes of an event. So let's take the example of visiting a cafe. And suppose in the soup item, we have the red soup and the cream soup, so-called white soup. And therefore, in the soup item, we have two choices. And in tree diagram, we always start from a single point. And then we draw two branches of the tree in this way. And now we have red soup and the white soup here. Ah, now we come to the, our main course, which is very delicious. We have chicken, fish, and beef. And therefore, we have three choices. And now if we select the red soup, and therefore, when we come to the main course, we have three choices. Therefore, we draw three different branches here. And now, even if we select white soup uh, in the soup item, again, we have three different choices in the main course. Again, we have chicken, fish, or beef. And now, we can summarize uh, how many different choices or different possible outcomes can we find in this situation. And uh, it is very obvious that we have two choices in the soup and three choices in the main course, then there will be a total of six possible outcomes. Uh, a total of six possible outcomes. So we can write it down. This is our outcomes. And if we write some symbol to represent each photo, we have red soup, white soup, and we have a chicken, fish, and then B, C, F, B. We can write down all the six possible outcomes using this symbol. We have R, C, R, F, R, B, W, C, W, F, W, B. And actually, we can always find the total number of possible outcomes by multiplying the number of choices in each item. In the soup item, we have two choices. In the main course item, we have three choices. And we call this the law of multiplication. And this is very important, the law of multiplication. The total number of outcomes will always be the product of the number of choices in each item. And after watching this video, this menu, you may feel a bit hungry.